the document that we are going to be using for our design is exactly the same document that we created when we were learning about the 12 column grid. But uh, it's not just the grid that we are going to be using to make uh, this design happen. It's also some colors, typography, icons, uh, images, all the good stuff that we need to, to make uh, the website design happen. So let me just hide the grid for a second and let me bring these guys up. As you can see, I got some colored squares right here and I got some dark background uh, down here. So the squares are going to be a base mm, for our color swatches. And down here, I got some dark background that in a second is going to be well, populated with some typography. And I made this uh, background dark because uh, as you can see in the original design, most of our typography right here is uh, filled with, uh, with an off-white color. So I think that it just would be easier for you to see that off-white color against a darker background. Of course, we also have some darker, uh, darker pieces of text, but uh, we will take care of these guys later. So I'm going to start with creating a new, a new swatch palette. So as you can see here in the swatches panel, we can choose add well either application or a document palette. The difference between these two guys is that if we add an application palette, the color swatches will be available um, every time you create a new document. And if you just add a document palette, uh, this color swatches group will be available only with this specific document. So actually I'm going to create just a document palette, just like so. And as you can see by default is it's called, well actually it's, <laughs> it's called unnamed, so it's, it's, so it's not really called. So I'm going to rename uh, this palette and I'm going to name it something like uh, maybe created as this is the name of the site. Let's put it like that. Now the sad part about uh, creating uh, the colors inside Affinity Designer from existing squares is that you can have to, is that you have to do it one by one. So I can't just grab all of these guys and just maybe like put them here or choose some uh, choose some option from the menu to add all these guys as separate swatches. Unfortunately, there are ways of creating colors from from the the whole document, but since we have a gradient uh, swatch right here, well, gradient fill, Affinity Designer would add a lot of different mm, the colors that are between mm, the left part of the gradient and the right part of the gradient. And we really don't want that. We want just simple swatch colors. So I'm going to grab this first gradient fill right here. And I'm simply going to click this palette icon that says add fill to palette, just like so. Now I'm going to be, uh, I'm, I'm going to add all these remaining colors to my swatches palette, just like so. And once I'm done, I have my color swatches that are called created and I can use them inside this document. Now, of course, I won't be needing these rectangles anymore. I can just delete them. And now if I just create a, well, a simple rectangle, I can use any of my colors just like so. Okay. So now that we have our colors created, we can now move on to creating the text styles that we are going to be using for our design. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of different colors, uh, well, maybe not colors, but styles going on right here. But I think that we can start creating the text styles in the next video.